This is going to be the outcome of this tutorial. A little file explorer has opened and we can see some images here. We can actually filter and make a custom filter. We can click on an image and open it. Greetings, it's Maxo Diddly here and today I am going to be showing you how we can open a file using the Java File Explorer or the JChooser as it's referred to as. So let's get right into it. Firstly, make sure you import the following libraries here. We are going to be making a public static boolean and it's going to be called Open File File Explorer. After that, we are going to be making a try catch statement. Inside the catch, we'll be doing system.out.println e. We'll do a return false here and after the try catch, we'll also do a return false. This will all make sense in a moment. But basically, we don't want the program to crash because the user can do a lot of things here that could make Java crash. And we want to print out the error so we know why that happened. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to be doing Java file chooser, file chooser equals new Java ch file chooser. So basically, this is going to be our little file explorer object. It's called the J file chooser, or short for Java file chooser. And it's basically like our Windows file explorer, but for Java. After that, we do file name extension filter. Filter equals new file name extension filter. The first parameter is going to be the name of this filter. The following parameters are going to be file types that will fall under this filter. So you know when you browse for files, you can filter by certain files, like maybe I only want to see text files or PNG files or Java files. Well, you can do that with this J file chooser and you can actually bundle a bunch of file types under one filter. So for instance, PNGs and JPEGs are both image files. So we're going to be bundling un them under an image file filter. However, we'll also have a bitmap in here to show that when we do image files, it won't include everything, only what we specify. And this can be whatever we want. This could be image files 420 if we wanted to. In fact, we'll keep it like that to make a point. But this will own this will filter out all files apart from PNG and JPEGs, but also any folders. And then what we do is we do file chooser.set file filter and filter. So we basically are assigning this filter we've made to our file chooser. After that, we are going to do file chooser.set current directory new file dot. So this is going to be what's the file chooser going to open by default? As in, what are we going to see when we open the file chooser? So if we do new file dot, this is just going to be wherever our Java project is, which is good for this tutorial. But it can be whatever you want in here. It could be your documents folder, your desktop, your homework folder that's clearly full of homework. It could be anything, but it needs to be with the new file because it needs a file object as opposed to just a file path. In here you put the file path. Then we do int result equals file chooser dot show open dialog and null. So null just so we put it in the center of the screen. But show open dialog is going to be showing the file explorer that belongs to our file chooser. Int result is used to store the result of what the user does like clicking cancel, clicking open, clicking the X, things like that. And the reason why it's an integer is because it uses an enum to give us the output or the result of whatever the user does. So we have to store it in an integer. We're then going to print this out to the console so you'll see what I mean. So what we're going to do is we're going to do if result e double equals j file chooser dot approve option. So this is our first enum, meaning the user clicked open. Then what we can do is we can do file selected file equals new file file chooser dot get selected file dot get absolute path. So basically we're creating a file object and it's going to be assigned to whatever the user has selected to open in the file chooser. So we can make so we make a new file object to do file chooser to get selected file dot get absolute file path. And then we're going to print out that file path. Then we're going to do if desktop dot is desktop supported with an exclamation mark before it, we do system.println not supported and we return false. This basically means can we open the file using an application we have. If this is true, then the else statement is executed and we do desk desktop desktop equals desktop dot get desktop. Take a shot every time I say desktop. Don't actually, you'll be on the floor passed out. Then we do desktop dot open selected file 
and then we return true. So if we are able to open the file, we then do this. But there's more we need to do after that. For this if statement, we're going to do an else if. We're going to do else if result double equals jfilechooser.cancel option. By cancel, I mean did we click the cancel button because we decided we don't, didn't want to open the file. And that's basically it for this tutorial. So we're going to save our work and go up to the top with our main method. Inside, we're just going to do system.printline open file val explorer. So basically, we're returning a boolean to print true or false, meaning did we open a file or not? So that's why we've done return true and return false in this code. Let's drag this little box up a bit and then hit play. So we have got our files of type and we've got our amazing filter of image files 420. As you can see, we can only see two files on here. But if we do all files, we can see cool.txt. We see our two images here. We have pom.xml and we have dab bump. These are all image files, but we're going to go back to our high quality filter and we're going to actually hit cancel. And it, then it says result one cancelled and false. Let's try again. We're going to then click dab on m.png. We hit open and it opens it using whatever Windows has assigned to as the default program to open a PNG, which is just our photos app, I guess is what it's called. Let's try again. Let's do low quality dab. And it's then going to ask me what I want to open with. So we click uh, just once and then it opens. Let's try it. Let's try one more. We'll go to all files. We'll do cool.txt. And it opened on my other monitor, but look, it says congrats. So guys, thanks to the great audience. Be sure to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed and subscribe for more Java tutorials. We'll be covering more videos on how we can use this Java file chooser. So stick around for that.